guys, I am Sylvia Rosenberg and in today's video I am going to show you how I made this edible Mulan Warrior figurine out of modeling chocolate. Okay, first for Mulan, I am going to start by making her skeleton. I'm going to use a 16 gauge wire and a piece of dowel, wooden dowel, and some floral tape. And I'm gonna sculpt it and make it look like she is standing in a warrior position, ready to fight with her legs in a lunge. Now it's time for the head. I have my doll mold, doll head mold, and I'm going to use some modeling chocolate, a little bit of Rice Krispie treats, and a dowel. And with my tool, I'm going to work on the details. I'm going to work on making the eyes, the mouth, the ears, the nose, and the neck, and all those little details to make it look like Mulan. And now it is time to cover my skeleton with some modeling chocolate. I'm actually gonna mix some gum paste and modeling chocolate, and I am going to make the whole body out of this. It's also going to show through a little bit at the end because the shirt she is wearing underneath is white. So I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna make some space for the neck, and I am going to make the legs only all the way to where the boot comes up. So just slightly below the knee. And the reason why I'm using the modeling chocolate mixed with the gum paste is because it's gonna stay malleable for so much longer. And after I am done adding all the chocolate that I need, I can go back with my tools and then mold it the way I want it to. And I wanna try to give her some movement. So I wanna make a lot of creases and details in the clothes. All right, and I'm gonna keep adding pieces of chocolate and removing until I get exactly what I want. All right, I think this looks pretty good. So now it's time to work a little bit on the sleeves. So I'm gonna take my red modeling chocolate and I am going to shape them like sleeves, try to give them a lot of movement and make them a lot wider at, on, at the end on the opening than where they meet the shoulder. A lot of creases for these sleeves. They're gonna look so good. And now I'm gonna get back to the head. So I am going to define the features a little bit more and I'm gonna put it on the actual Mulan's body. I'm going to try to get the neck to seamlessly blend into the outfit. And then it's time to continue with the outfit. So first I'm going to put a very small little detail around the collar to make it look like she has a shirt underneath her jacket. And then it's time to work on the jacket. So I'm gonna roll out some very thin, thin pieces of red and I am going to cut them and place them and make it look like she's got on a jacket. I am again with my tools going to give it a lot of movement and creases and folds so it looks realistic. And now the bottom part of the jacket. So I left some room for the belt and now I'm gonna add these pieces to make it look like the bottom of the jacket. So yeah, her butt looks a little weird, but it doesn't matter because we're not gonna be able to see it. So there. Now that looks good. All right, Mulan, now it's time to get some shoes on. So I'm gonna take some brown fondant and I'm gonna make some boots and I'm gonna detail them and sculpt them until they look like they are on the ground and on her body.
Oh yeah, now let me work on the tiny little hand. And yeah, she has those two fingers sticking up, so we're gonna have to get that. We're gonna have to get that right. And now, of course, the last part of the jacket is the collar. Okay, and now it's my favorite part. I'm finally gonna get her hair on. So I'm going to take some black gum paste and I am going to sculpt strand by strand. Yeah, she's gonna look a little funky for a little bit. She looks a little bald, but don't worry Mulan, it's not for long. I'm gonna get you looking beautiful. So I'm going to use cotton pieces, pieces of cotton in between to hold it the strands in place so it looks like the wind is blowing her wind. Sorry, the wind is blowing her hair. Yeah, that's gonna look good. And I'm, gonna j I'm just going to leave it like this for a few hours until the hair is completely dry. Now I'm going to start working on the sword. So I have my clay extruder and I'm gonna put some gray fondant in there and I'm going to extrude a couple of pieces using the triangle tip. Um, this is a lot harder than I thought so this is taking me forever and um, just keep trying to press it in between two rulers to try to get it smooth and get the lines to look pretty straight because I don't want it to be like a funky looking sword. I want it to look good. All right, and now it is time to work on the armor. So she's going to be wearing these pieces of armor around her, around her legs. And I'm going to try to make them look as real as possible. So I have some gray, fondant rolled out pretty thin and with a ruler I'm going to make all these indentations to make it look like pieces of metal. I am going to cut them to the right size, two of the same size exactly, and I'm going to put each piece on top of a very thin brown piece of fondant which is going to be like the leather underneath the armor. Okay, and now I am going to put these pieces of armor on Mulan. I am going to use a little bit of the edible glue and I'm going to stick them and shape them so that they look right. And of course she needs a belt so let's give her a tiny little brown belt to hold her armor up. All right and now it's time to finish the face so she needs eyes so let's start with the white part then I'm gonna put some black part and then I'm gonna give her some eyelashes and some shadows with some chalk dust. Oh, of course, I'm gonna paint her lips and give her some blush. Yeah, I know she's trying to pretend to be a boy, but even as a boy, she still looks really beautiful. So we're gonna try our best to make her pretty. And now I have some silver dust and I am going to paint all the armor silver and the sword, of course. That sword was so hard to make, but I, I think it came out pretty good. So I'm pretty happy with it. And now I am going to work on the other hand. Um, I probably should have done this before. Now I think this is gonna be really hard, but, but when have I ever done things the easy way? So let's just do it.
And of course, we need to add a little bit more details and we're gonna add the white ruffles of the shirt she is wearing underneath her coat, her red coat. And that's it, there's Mulan. I love her, she's so cute. for watching and don't forget if you leave me a comment and let me know what you want to see me do I will try to make it happen don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you like my video subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so that you get notified when a new video comes out so thanks again for watching bye